I can't stop dancing and smiling when I hear that hymn, Mimi Na. It's a traditional praise song in the Swahili language, and the word Mimi Na translates roughly as saturate us. So it's a song asking God to saturate us in grace. Welcome to Pentecost Sunday, a day celebrating how God's Spirit does come down and saturates not only the faithful, but also the doubtful far and wide across generations, cultures, and languages. I'm Reverend Elise Beltran from St. Andrew's United Church in Bayfield, and I'm delighted that you have found us here somehow on Church Online as we celebrate Pentecost together. As always, we begin by lighting a candle and if you have one with you, I invite you to light one too, to ignite this flame, this little tongue of fire that serves to remind us of the Spirit's presence, the abiding presence of God's Spirit, the spark of divine love, the light of Christ, always near, always guiding, always inspiring. Friends, it's on this day, on this weekend, that worship would have been celebrated at our annual regional meeting with the three regions of Antler River Watershed, Western Ontario Waterways, and Horseshoe Falls coming together on the shores of Lake Huron in Port Elgin. But that gathering, like so many others these days, is not to be. Instead, today we are sharing in the same opening ritual and prayers in worship across all three regions. Not by design, but by coincidence, all three of our regions are named after water. Water defines us. Watersheds cradle us. Lakes and rivers surround us. Water here represents the three regions that would have come together this weekend. In the Gospel of John, Jesus says, Out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. As all the rivers flow to the sea to be united, by the spirit of Pentecost, may we today acknowledge our unity not just with our brothers and sisters in these three regions but as the larger church in the world the body of christ through the prophet joel god declares i will pour out my spirit upon all people your sons and daughters will prophesy your young ones will see visions. Your elders will dream dreams. As these three separate vessels of water are united into one common element, may we too be united by your spirit in common purpose and common praise. Holy Spirit, come. Let us pray. Gracious God, we acknowledge the power of your spirit, like tongues of fire, like rushing wind, like flowing water, acknowledging what can't be, but in hope for what will be, we beckon your spirit among us today. Like a wildfire, may the Holy Spirit grow through us, and give us voice that we might speak in tongues of justice, peace, and love. Like a rushing wind, may the Holy Spirit blow through us and give us humility to walk through our days in right relationship. Like a river, may the Holy Spirit flow through us and give us courage that our hearts might be like living water. May your spirit ignite our spirits this day. Amen. I love languages, and many of you know that I have been studying Spanish for over a year now. 
So Pentecost to me is always about languages and it's a wonderful reminder to us that our worship, our praise and our music cannot be contained by either words or languages. And it's a great opportunity while we're doing virtual worship and we're not limited by the abilities or inabilities of our music program to be able to extend our worship in other words and languages. So it's a great opportunity to participate in song and prayer without the limitation of English. Our next hymn is a multilingual version of Voices United 381, Spirit of Life. And please feel free to sing along in the language of your choice. Following that, if you'll scroll down and click on the next section, we'll return with our scripture reading and reflection for the day. <laughs> 